Hi everyone, this is Madeline Cow, owner of Amethyst Atelier. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I wanted to show you guys how I make pocket notebooks using staples. So here are just some examples. Um, actually, um, some of these I sell online, so I do invite you guys to come visit my online store at amethystatelier.com. Um, there's a lot of good stuff there, so check it out. But going back to this video, I just wanted to quickly show you guys, these are really um, simple pocket notebooks and using staples is probably one of the simplest way you can make your own notebook. And I, that's why I wanted to start with this method. So for this whole video, it's going to be focused on this one method, but there are actually a lot of other ways you can bind a, uh, the spine of a pocket notebook. And in the next few weeks, I will show you alternative um, methods besides staples like using thread or using um, thicker cords or yarn. But for today, I just wanted to show you guys this one basic um, um, technique. Now, before I begin with the basic steps, I wanted to um, make a quick list of tools and materials that you might need. Um, not just for this video, but also for the other videos that I'm going to show. But I thought it would be good to show this list every time before I start the step-by-step -step tutorial. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, and if you have any questions, feel free to comment down below or send me an email directly. front and back and then we're going to trim in the middle right here okay so I'm gonna show you how to make to stack the pages together um, so first you have the cover paper of your choice add two um, pages of the book and um, paper you of your choice and finally um, the pages um, so for this one I just wanted to note that if you are planning to make a pocket notebook with lines or dotted um, then you have to make sure that before you staple them together or before you um, sew them together using a thread or a cord, whichever it is, make sure that they are completely aligned. I know some people like to use um, paper clips um, like this to keep them in place. Um, I don't um, because it leaves a mark, but you can, you can just try whatever works best for you. But make sure that they don't misalign as you are stapling because what would happen is once you fold the um, pocket notebook, then the left page and the right page, the lines will not um, be continuous. It will not align. So um, just keep that in mind. So Okay, so and then here's my handy dandy uh, stapler. This one's brand is True Red. I got it from sta Staples. You don't necessarily need to get this brand. I know there are some um, staples that are, that are like, it's like a T, so you can staple them. It's like you staple them this way, and then this head part 
is like 90 degree angle anyway I like this kind because also I have this is how big my um, page could be and also I like this marker right here because I've already set it so that I, I know exactly where to staple which is the middle of this whole surface so um this is where the fold is going to be okay so again make sure it's all aligned and then make sure i put it on the seam okay all right then another one okay and that's it simple right um okay. Next, I'm going to show you guys how to fold the stack. I'm just going to show it with um, the stapler method. Um, so just really quick, there is one page, just a quick review, there's one page of cover, two pages of the book end, and actually this one will be glued on this page. So technically, this is the cover. And finally, the 13 sheets of writing pages. Um, so I guess first thing to keep in mind is that when you guys fold, I usually fold the pages first. Make sure that the left, the corners on the left is aligned with the corners on the right to make sure that the fold is not crooked. And then you're just gonna kind of push in to make sure that the fold happens exactly at the middle where the, uh, where the binding is. And then when you slant, so you get the good look where the lines are aligning. And once that is aligned, you fold the rest of it, and there you go. Staplers are all centered at the spine. Notice that the edge, um, that the side edge is um, protruding out um, that's okay um, what you can do is you can use a paper trimmer or a guillotine to cut the corners actually for for all the edges um, just so to make sure that they're all smooth and all even um, and finally for finishing touches you can also use a um, I have one here you can use um, something like this it's a corner cutter um, basically you just cut the corners so that they'll have a, a curved edge <laughs> 